Hello! Uh, what I wanted to let you know is when I bought the this, the All Chariot Cougar in 2014, uh, it's now just January 2017, uh, they provide it with a, uh, they class it as an accessory bar that runs as a standard from one to the other, uh, and then you'd buy the cargo rack as an extra to clip to the bar. Uh, this cargo rack is slightly different because it is the original chariot one. Uh, just a bit of background, chariot originally owned uh, the designs for the Thule Cougar. Um, uh, but um, what I didn't want is the cargo rack that runs or would normally work as a standard with this uh, pusher. Uh, it's actually slightly smaller than the old original one, so I would have lost about an inch either side and a couple of inches off the front because it, it does clip to the accessory bar that would have been on the back. I have got the accessory bar, but because I was losing some space, uh, I thought what I'd try and do is try and find uh, a chariot one and then see if it actually fits because I wasn't sure whether uh, once they all took over the design whether they would change uh, the actual dimensions of the main structure, meaning that any uh, old uh, chariot bits and pieces wouldn't fit to the new Thule design. Uh, after a bit of googling and a bit of luck, uh, I did actually find the chariot top rack on sale on eBay uh, and uh, was able to check that the dimensions from one to the other actually are compatible with this model still. Uh, there is quite a lot of jogglosity, uh, because, sorry about that, um, because it is a, a clamp down system, so you could potentially put it on something slightly bigger. Obviously not a two-seater one though, uh, but the, the same principle I'd hope that the two-seater ones, if Chariot did do a two-seater cargo rack, then the Chariot one may fit uh, the two-seater Thule one. A uh, bit about the cargo rack itself, it's quite nice, still some of the really super reflective bits uh, that are on the north, on the rest of the body. Uh, it's also got this uh, cover, I presume that these are just for helping you pulling it on, not quite sure. But it's got these two bungee straps. Uh, it's also then got another tie down strap which is a elasticated, so you've got quite a a good space if I put my hand in there. Maybe there's a bit of comparison. It's not a very big hand. But there is quite a lot of space uh, and it's quite deep. So again I think the weight rating is similar to the other one. It's either three or five kilograms which isn't much but um, when you're out shopping and especially at the moment with uh, not being able to have carrier bags uh, anymore uh, it's easy just to put shopping on and I generally leave it on there after the trolley and then take it to the car. Uh, it has got a headphones uh, outlet, don't use that. What it has got that I do like is um, a little divided pocket so I generally keep a lot of spare change and bits and pieces in uh, for when we t use this um, for the bike rides. I've always got change for the ice cream man. But yeah, I uh, really love it. I think it makes it even more versatile than putting it on. What I did find is uh, pretty much most brands of shopping baskets, so the little handheld ones, are actually thinner than the frame width. So they were actually sitting on the plastic, which I really didn't like. Which, at least now, if I wanted to do, I can put a proper shopping basket on here. Or I generally just leave it off and chuck uh, all the shopping on the top. Thank you for watching.